now that the primary election is over, Governor Tony Evers is hitting the campaign trail with his new running mate, and he says he's feeling good about the November election. Plus, we're learning more details after a man was arrested in connection to the murders of four Muslim men in New Mexico. This is News 3 Now at noon. Wisconsin's primary election results are in, and maybe the biggest surprise of the night, the margin by which Tim Michaels overtook Rebecca Clayfish in the GOP spot for governor. Michaels had a five-point lead, despite polling much closer over the last few months. Our morning team asked a political science expert about it. She called it the biggest surprise of the night. Primary races are always hard to poll, but it shows essentially there's still some limits to how much we can trust the polls here in Wisconsin, which have been sort of a little unreliable the last few cycles. Professor Eleanor Neff Powell also commented on how close Speaker Robin Voss's primary was. He beat his primary challenger, Trump-backed Adam Steen, by two percentage points. Professor Powell also pointed to the former president's sway among voters when it came to both of these outcomes. We remember Michaels also had secured Trump's endorsement. Meanwhile, Gov Governor Tony Evers is hitting the campaign trail today. He began the day in Madison this morning with his new running mate, State Representative Sarah Rodriguez. Rodriguez is running running for lieutenant governor. The two will face off against construction executive Tim Michaels and state senator Roger Roth in November. Hey, we're a purple state. Uh, we, you know, it, it's, it's going to be very, very close. There's no question about that. You know, it, it will have national prominence, but at the end of the day, Wisconsinites are going to vote for me and Sarah because of the positions that we've taken and the success that we have. And those, those issues are issues that are important to Wisconsin. Donald Trump's not running in this race. If, if, uh, if, if Michaels lets him be his partner you know, day after day, that's his problem, not mine. We are going to be focusing on what the people of Wisconsin care about. Governor Evers will also visit Stevens Point before stopping in Appleton and Milwaukee to rally support with Attorney General Josh Call and other Democratic candidates. Elsewhere in the primaries, Wisconsin Assembly Speaker Robin Voss will keep his seat at the Capitol after beating Trump-endorsed candidate Adam Steen. Voss wasted no time criticizing former Wisconsin Supreme Court Justice Michael Gableman, who also endorsed Steen, despite Voss's support of the election investigation. Mike Gableman is an embarrassment to the state. Uh, so I am going to take some time to talk with my caucus next week. Uh, we actually have a caucus on Tuesday. I'm going to talk about it with all the members and see what the next step should be. But I am not going to let my joy for tonight be focused on a person like Mike Gableman who isn't worth the time to talk about. All this comes after Vossi repeatedly told Trump it is impossible to decertify Wisconsin's 2020 election results. With no Democrats filed to run in Voss's district this fall, he will keep his seat after the general election in November. And for more election results and the latest news, visit channel3000.com. You'll find everything you need to know by clicking on the Campaign 2022 banner at the top of our homepage. Let's head to the Weather Center now. Meteorologist Chris Reese has a look at your certified most accurate forecast. Another nice day out there. Yes, it is. It's still a little bit warmer than we were yesterday, but it is comfortable as you head out the door. Temperatures are at 78 degrees. Winds are out of the north and west at about 8 miles per hour. Still some warming to go. High resolution radar is quiet. You look out over the state of Wisconsin and we are not seeing anything in the north woods either. So that is some good news for us as we stay dry for what I expect to be the rest of this afternoon and evening. Temperatures are mainly into the 70s. Boscobel has made it to 80. Camp Douglas is at 81. 80 for Kenosha, 81 in Sheboygan, 80 in Manitowoc. So those are the few select places where we actually do have 80 degree reading right now. The rest of Dane County all hanging out into the 70s. Middleton is the warm spot at 79 right now. We should all be topping out into the low and mid 80s for those highs this afternoon, Mark. All right, we'll check back later, Chris. Thank you. Sun Prairie police are asking drivers to avoid South Grand Avenue at US 151 because of a crash. Dane County dispatchers said two vehicles were involved in a crash just before 9 o'clock this morning. It's unclear if anybody was hurt. Officials haven't released any more details, but the investigation, of course, is ongoing. New Mexico police have now a primary suspect in custody following the killings of four Muslim men over a nine-month span. Investigators say 51-year-old Mohammed Saeeds has been charged for the murders. According to police, all four victims were of South Asian descent and ambushed with no warning. There is still a lot of work that needs to be done. There's still a lot of 
evidence that needs to be verified. And I think that it's important that we continue to move in that direction. Albuquerque police say multiple firearms were recovered from the suspect's home and the vehicle they found is believed to be connected to two of the four murders. Former President Donald Trump says he invoked his Fifth Amendment rights and refused to testify under oath today. That's in connection with a long-running investigation by New York's Attorney General. The deposition comes just days after the FBI searched his Mar-a-Lago estate. Naomi Ruckham has more. How do you feel, Mr. Trump? How do you feel? Former President Donald Trump gave a thumbs up Wednesday as he left Trump Tower for his deposition, but he later released a statement saying he didn't answer any questions. The civil investigation led by New York's Attorney General Democrat Letitia James is looking into whether the Trump Organization misstated the values of multiple real estate properties to get favorable loans and tax deductions. In May, her office said it had collected substantial evidence that could support a lawsuit against Mr. Trump, his company or both. In a statement, Mr. Trump explained his reason not to testify, saying, I once asked, if you're innocent, why are you taking the Fifth Amendment? Now I know. When your family, your company, and all the people in your orbit have become the targets of an unfounded, politically motivated witch hunt, you have no choice. The former president also said the search of his Mar-a-Lago home earlier this week by federal agents solidified his decision not to testify. Monday, the FBI looked for documents at his Florida estate that are believed to contain classified information. This is the first time a search warrant has been carried out against a former president. The former president's Republican allies accused the Department of Justice of politicizing the agency. It was an outrage and an abuse of power. U.S. officials tell CBS News approval for the search came from the highest levels of the Justice Department. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News, New York. At least two of the former president's lawyers were at the estate during the search, but today on his social media platform, Trump wrote that the FBI wouldn't let anyone near the areas that were being searched and suggested the evidence may have been planted. Well, police had to come to the rescue of a wild turkey that somehow broke into a Wausau apartment. Doris Madden lives at CityWalk Apartments. She was suspicious Friday when she noticed a second floor apartment with a window that was broken in. She called the apartment manager who got maintenance to investigate and they found a turkey inside. When he opened the door, there's the turkey. And so he thought, I'm not going to try to catch that thing. So he called the police station for animal control. The officers on the call did their best to keep themselves and the bird safe. They used long gloves and a fishing net to catch it and were able to safely release it back into the wild. Well, there's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. A good sign for the U.S. economy as gas prices and inflation fall. More on that when we come back. You're watching News 3 Now at noon. At iMart Express, you'll save on glasses for classes. For 79 bucks, get two pairs with KidSafe polycarbonate lenses and a free one-year frame warranty. Don't let the bell ring before you get a chance to save. A $200 value, all for 79 bucks. Hello, I'm Roman Ryan of Ryan Funeral Homes. As a locally owned and operated funeral home, it's important to know that not all funeral homes are the same. Some other Madison area funeral homes are actually owned by corporations based outside of the United States. A corporately owned funeral home is focused on the bottom line, making services more costly. We have served local families for more than 80 years, and our priority is investing in the community and your family. In your time of need, Ryan Funeral Homes are here for you. When we needed new doors and windows for our home, we were looking for someone we could trust. We've done the bargain brand windows. What we loved about Nextdoor and Window is that they were different. We really loved their educational approach. Call 844-600-NEXT. 50% off your installation. The Gam Furniture and Flooring in Baraboo has a question for you. Have you ever bought furniture in a box and then had to put it together yourself? We know it's not fun. At McGann's, everything is professionally inspected and assembled before pickup or delivery. Goodbye headaches, and there's no extra charge for assembly. And remember, at McGann's, we don't raise prices only to lower them later for a sale. 
Stop in soon and discover the difference. McGann Furniture and Flooring, downtown Baraboo. Hey, we're here at the local farmer's market where Informed Choice Insurance Agency is offering fresh, hand-picked local Medicare? What do you mean when you say shop local for Medicare? A lot of Medicare health plans have benefits that are specific to your county. So why would you call a national 1-800 number when your local Medicare plans have all the bells and whistles the national TV ads promise, only better? Don't be fooled by national TV hype. When it comes to your Medicare options, keep it local with Informed Choice Insurance Agency, and their services are free. It's Wow Wednesdays at hy V. This Wednesday, hy V Choice Reserve Sirloin Filets, two for only $5. Frozen vegetables, only 69 cents. Fresh Express Garden Salad, only 77 cents. And hy V Almond Milk or Full Circle Soy Milk, only 99 cents. Wednesday only. And save even more with hy V Fuel Saver. Right now, save up to $5.23 per gallon with your hy V Fuel Saver Plus Perks card. And visit hy V Deals.com for even more deals. Imart Express owns selection, price, and speed. Need single vision? Get two pairs starting under 40 bucks. Progressives, two pairs start under 80. Nobody beats us guaranteed. Imart Express, right classes, right price, right now. There are new indications that online shoppers are finally seeing lower prices for non-essential goods like electronics, including TVs, smartphones, tablets, and cameras. Prices in the largest online spending category slid at an annual rate of 9.3% in July. That's according to the Adobe Digital Price Index. At the same time, online prices for groceries and pet products surged. Overall, though, online prices have fallen 1% from a year ago. A federal judge in California rules that three golfers who joined Saudi-backed Live Golf will not be able to compete in the PGA Tour's postseason. The judge denied a temporary restraining order for the golfers who were among a group suspended from the PGA Tour. The judge says she does not think the three faced irreparable harm because of the money they were guaranteed by joining Liv. Last week, 10 golfers, including Phil Mickelson, filed an antitrust lawsuit against the PGA Tour over the Liv controversy. And Chipotle Mexican Grill will pay $20 million to current and former workers at its New York City restaurants for violating city labor laws. Mayor Eric Adams announced the settlement between the city and the California-based fast food chain. According to investigators, Chipotle's violations of the city's fair workweek law included failing to post work schedules 14 days in advance. That is your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Matt Piper. Here's the Wall Street at the noon hour. The Dow Industrials up 487 points. The Nasdaq up 305. The S&P 500 up 77. Our call for action volunteers are in the building. There they are taking your consumer complaints and taking action on your behalf. This is a live look at the call for action studio. Volunteers are here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can call for action right now, 608-270-2833, or submit a claim anytime at channel3000.com slash call for action. Well, now the latest on the once soaring gas prices that are falling fast. This morning, the average nationwide cost for a gallon of regular is about $1 cheaper than it was in mid-June when gas prices peaked. It's a sign that overall inflation may have peaked as well. Now, this downward trend could easily be reversed through any one of a number of variables. Analysts point to hurricane season, for example, which could lead to major oil destruction in the Gulf and send prices even higher. The best advice, they say, is fill up now. Next in whom we'll share your ag numbers, plus how a young Florida boy is offering support to children in Ukraine. Plus, Chris has your latest forecast after the break. Shop local for quality made in the USA products at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Browse a wide variety of sofas and hardwood home furnishings from brands you can trust, like Smith Brothers, Simply Amish, and Flex Steel. Every style, every budget. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Do you suffer with pain, numbness, and tingling in the hands or feet? Commonly diagnosed as peripheral neuropathy? Are you taking drugs such as Lyrica or Gabapentin that have serious side effects and often do not relieve your symptoms? Your doctor has told you, you may just have to live with the pain. Peripheral neuropathy is a result of damage to the nerves, often causing burning, weakness, pain, numbness, 
tingling and the most debilitating balance problems. Our facility uses multiple therapeutic methods to help give you relief from neuropathy symptoms with no injections and no drugs. You may start seeing relief after only a few sessions. To determine if your neuropathy symptoms can be relieved, we will do a consultation to evaluate the extent of your condition. Call us today to schedule your neuropathy consultation to find out if you're a candidate for our therapy. Call today. Construction invites you to celebrate summer with our hot summer sale. We're talking about sizzling savings of 22%. Many of your neighbors already know how we strive to meet and exceed expectations with each and every project. That's why they voted us best roofer two years in a row. Experience the best of Madison for yourself with Fry Construction. Get on board for our hot summer sale. Save 22% off gutters with any full roofing or siding project. Schedule your consultation today at FryConstruction.com. Shop local for quality made in the USA products at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Browse a wide variety of sofas and hardwood home furnishings from brands you can trust, like Smith Brothers, Simply Amish, and Flex Steel. Every style, every budget. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Tomorrow, a look inside a local training center that's helping young athletes step up their game. We'll talk to two NFL stars about why they believe in the program's philosophy. And our comfortable pattern sticks around, but for how long? I'll answer that tomorrow morning from 4.30 to 7.00. It's go time, people. We all have a story to tell. So let's come together to laugh out loud, to share some hope and joy. All on my new show. Weekdays on WISC-TV starting September 12th. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. And Pam Yonke from the Midwest Farm Report is at the State Fair today. She'll be back tomorrow, so here are your farm members. A Florida boy is on a mission to bring some comfort to children in Ukraine. The 11-year-old is partnering with businesses to collect stuffed animals to send to kids in the war-torn country. Ashley Harding has more. By most accounts, Sage Goodall is a typical 11-year-old. He has a ton of energy and a big personality. Mommy, I'm stuck. But none of that compares to the size of his heart. A heart measured in stuffed animals. It started simple enough. Just one day, I was just in my living room, just watching, minding my own business, watching TV. CNN came on and it was saying about all these kids from Ukraine because of all their houses being blown up. That's when Sage and his mom, Rhonda, decided to launch Hugs for the Children of Ukraine. Each donated stuffed toy will go to a child impacted by the war. They need to feel what the normal kids of the world feel when they can hug on to something when they're scared or sad. They stored their first collections in the family living room. They have people. But then the YMCA of Northeast Florida got on board. The y, that its branches became donation sites, and each new toy is like a hug from thousands of miles away. Anywhere. Rhonda is still overwhelmed by the response. Or the thought of a child, as Sage says, hugging on to one of these and being able to walk around, carry it around with them. Um, they are every bit as special as every single person. With this response comes a message from Sage to his fellow kids. Every child is special. Show kindness. Everyone's the same. They're just human beings that God created them and 
they need to realize that don't think about yourself, think about others and before you. Making it positively Jack's difference, one hug at a time. Sage and the YMCA managed to collect nearly 6,000 stuffed animals to ship to Ukraine. And he's not done yet. Sage says he's setting new goals and plans to continue collecting. Good for him. Chris joining us now with the latest forecast. Yeah, we're looking at some sunshine outside right now. This sticks around for the rest of today. It's the same sunshine I talked about this morning. And those same decorator clouds that I told you would develop into the afternoon. High pressure still in control for us. We're still watching a cold front to the north. It's gradually pushing southward. But all the moisture still locked and blocked by the stationary front down to the south. So we'll see this cold front push further towards us, but it doesn't have much moisture to work with, if anything. I mean, our chance to see any type of shower development tonight is slight, and even that chance continues to drop. So Doppler track remains quiet right now. There's just a little bit of moisture in the air. Dew points are into the 60s, but notice the wind direction is generally out of the north and west. You're not getting any moisture out of that but you get the cool temperatures uh, and really the lower humidity. It's still just humid enough that we're right there on that line between not bad and maybe your hair's a little frizzy. We'll see the dew points continue to drop moving towards tomorrow and that's where we're really gonna be comfortable as some even drier air moves into the picture. That being said, temperatures right now generally hang out into the 70s. There are some spots that are in the 80s. It's 81 in Camp Douglas right now. Same for Fond du Lac and Sheboygan. I like to call out La Crosse. You got some sandy soils on French Island there, so La Crosse always gets warmer faster. So that's why they're 82, but it's 77 in Decorah and 77 in Viroqua. The warmest spot, though, also a common coolest spot, Black River Falls at 83. Let's talk about the Madison Metro. We're finding 78 to be a very popular number. Verona, Cottage Grove, Sun Prairie, Wanakee, Middleton, Stoughton, Oregon, all at 78. Even our friends in Sauk City, it's the mid to upper 70s, no matter how you slice it. The airport coming in at 78 as well. Winds out of the north and west at 8. And again, those dew points hanging out into the lower 60s. So not unbearable, but just enough moisture in the air, you might get a little extra frizz in the hair. 83 to 84 is where we'll top out this afternoon. Even dinner time, temperatures will still be hanging out into the 80s for us. We really start to drop back into the 70s after about 7.30, 8 o'clock, and then we'll fall into the 60s overnight for your overnight lows. Here's the front moving through, by the way. You'll notice it because of a band of clouds that come through really as the sun begins to set. So look off towards the north and that's where you'll be able to see those clouds moving in. But after dark, you won't really notice them. Here we go. 67, 3 o'clock in the morning. That front's already moving down to the south and east. 8 o'clock, we're right around 66. So mid to lower 60s is where your overnight lows will be. And then you see some showers trying to move in uh, from the south and west tomorrow, but even that stays to our south and west. Friday, another little disturbance moves through. That'll really stay to our west as well before fizzling out. The models are trying to show some rain chances even in the Saturday, but this same model that was really gung-ho for those rain chances yesterday has continued to really just back down. So the remainder of our forecast is generally quite dry. 78 on Thursday, 76 on Friday, a little bump Saturday and Sunday, and then 70s throughout the rest of next week. We have rain chances that are so slight they're not even worth mentioning. So we'll watch the pattern as we move towards next week. But for the most part, look for a dry and pleasant day almost each and every day. You'll probably need to water your grass again by the end of next week, but the weather's nice. It certainly is for the middle of August. Couldn't ask for anything better. No, we could not. All right, Chris, thank you. Up next, let's see how Howard is celebrating a special day in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. It's National S'more Day, and just wait until you see what we're whipping up. You better bring a few extra napkins. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. When cleaning your air ducts, it's important to clean the entire system. An air duct cleaning from Stanley Steamer removes pounds of trapped dirt, dust, and allergens from your home completely. Call today for a free inspection. Stanley Steamer, it's your home cleaner. We 
are Dane County. We are Madison, McFarland, Sun Prairie. We are Wanakee, Stoughton, Middleton, Deerfield, and everywhere in between. We are committed to being unique in supporting the value when families share the memories of family and friends at the loss of a loved one. We are Crest Funeral and Cremation Service, more than just a funeral home. We are the people you know and trust to help families before, during, and after the loss of a loved one. Learn more at CrestFuneralService.com. RHD Plumbing has the most reliable professionals in the industry. With honesty you can trust to deliver quality products and workmanship. Dedicated to being the best. So when you need a plumber for an important upgrade or 24-hour emergency service, call RHD. For your home or business, get the job done right the first time with no surprises. With the reliable, honest, and dedicated plumbing professionals of RHD Plumbing. Proud partner of the Green Bay Packers. During Toyota's national sales event, we're working hard to deliver new Toyotas so you can enjoy the last of summer. From hitting the rapids with a RAV4 hybrid, to kicking up sand in a Tundra, or camping out in a Highlander. Hey guys! Get 1.9% APR for 48 months on a new 2022 Toyota Corolla, Camry, RAV4, Highlander, or Tacoma. Visit toyota.com to learn more. Come in today. Toyota. Let's go places. Menards is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Plus, get 11% off. Get truckloads of savings on items you need and use every day. For everyone, we have it all from big to small and everything in between. Save on your favorite cleaning supplies from Procter & Gamble. They deliver quality products from brands you can trust, like Dawn, Tide, and Bounty. Stock up on Procter & Gamble products and get 11% off everything now at Menards. Save big. The Stanley Steamer started with one man, a van, and a whole lot of carpet. We've been innovating for a long time. Stanley Steamer now goes beyond carpet. Schedule a cleaning today. If you love the combo of toasty marshmallows, melted chocolate, and crispy graham crackers, then today's your lucky day. Yep. It's officially National S'mores Day, a day to celebrate all things s'mores, like we need an excuse to eat them. So today, Ooh. I want to share an easy way to get everything we love about s'mores in the form of a pie. We start by combining some graham cracker crumbs along with a bit of sugar and melted butter. We set that aside and we mix together a package of instant chocolate pudding and some milk. Once this thickens up, we fold in some whipped topping, which makes it nice and creamy. This goes into a store-bought graham cracker pie crust. Then we sprinkle on the crunchy topping and finish it off with lots of mini marshmallows. And since a s'more isn't a s'more unless the marshmallows are toasted, we pop this under the broiler just long enough for them to get golden brown. After it cools, you have everything you love about an ooey gooey s'more in the form of a pie. So stop whatever you're doing and go over to our website so you can make our toasty s'mores pie as soon as tonight. And while you're there, check out our s'mores inspired recipes. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen where today we found s'more tasty ways for you to say, ooh, it's so good. It's all yours. No. <laughs> Howard, you need to pack it up. Those puns get me every time. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you what also gets me every time is the weather being as awesome as it is. And that is today. Sunshine, temperatures around 84, a stray shower late. Maybe we'll watch, but I really have doubts about that. The rest of this week is comfortable. Slight shower chances as we move into next week. All right, Chris, thank you. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you back here at 4 o'clock. In the meantime, have a great afternoon.